Get ready for Host at Home, Adam's Archives. You're watching Animal Planet. Welcome to You Lie Like a Dog, and here's your host, J.D. Roberto. Well, hi, I'm J.D. Roberto, and welcome to You Lie Like a Dog, the show where the only difference between man and man's best friend is that man is a liar. That's because the people you're going to meet today are a bunch of dirty, rotten liars. Well, most of them are. And it's going to be up to our panel to figure out who's lying and who's not. Can they do it? Let's find out. Our first panelist is an award-winning stand-up comic. You've seen him on The Tonight Show. Please welcome Dom Herrera. My second panelist has been doing stand-up comedy for over 17 years. Please welcome John Cavanera. And you'll recognize our third panelist from his roles in There's Something About Mary and Rocket Man. Please welcome Harlan Williams. Now, in each round, our panelists are going to have a chance to score valuable points, but just who wins the game? Well, the animals, that's who. Because the panelist with the most points at the end of the show scores a big $500 donation to the animal charity of their choice. That's what you're after, gentlemen. Let's get things started by meeting our three pet owners, Rhonda, Franz, and Joey. <laughs> Now, all three of these people claim to own the same pet boa constrictor, Moscow, and there Moscow is. Welcome to the show. All right, panelists, let me tell you three things. These are facts about Moscow. Uh, he yawns when he is tired, he is afraid of cats, and he likes to hang out in the closet. These are absolutely true facts. You can count on them, but it's going to be up to you to figure out what else is true and what is a bunch of lies, because only one of these people is really Moscow's owner, and the other two lie like dogs. You got it, Dom? Yes, I do. I can see you sizing them up already. Prepared to All see right. who he fetches a stick for. <laughs> okay. You got 45 seconds to ask him questions. Ready, go. Okay, Franz, how long have you had Moscow? I've had him for five years. Five years. How old is he, Joey? Seven. Seven, is that true? Rhonda? I'm sorry, ask is he, is he seven? Uh, yeah. What kind of snake? What kind of what kind of snake is he? Uh, a red-tailed boa. He's a red-tailed boa, and what the other what are the other kinds of boas? Oh, uh, I think what? there's like a I've heard of a rosy boa before. And a white-tailed boa? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> jo <laughs> jo Joey, is he dangerous? No, he's not. It's funny you ask that. He's usually not dangerous. He bit his first person today. Now, now, why do you want a snake like this, Franz? Do you work your way up from, like, a little garter snake to a, a python? Or... Well, I had, like, friends. Boa? They had those little, little guanas and stuff like that. Right. But I wanted to be big and bad and have myself a real, a real predator on my hands. And do you so... hang out with him and take him, please? All right, time's up. John, it's up to you. 45 seconds for questions. You ready? Yes. Go. Joey, where is the python indigenous to? Where is it indigenous yes, to? Yes, what country? South America, usually Colombia. Usually Colombia. Yes. And what about uh, an anaconda as opposed to a, a, pie, uh, a boa? What grows larger? Anaconda grows larger. And I think they're found all over the Amazon. But and I'm Franz, sure. what's the difference between an anaconda, a boa constrictor, and a python? <laughs> oh, you hit me out all three. Well, well, I'd say the anaconda also has a bigger set of teeth, and they also grow longer and much wider when these just have like small little raised tiny little teeth like sandpaper so it's that and what was the other the snake? python the python that's just big and bad i don't know much about that one okay all right time is up harlan all right 45 seconds ready go yeah hey franz after the uh boa eats its food it has to realign part of its body which part the lower half uh-huh and now, uh, Rhonda, how long does the poison take when it kills its uh, prey? Um, it's not poisonous. Good for you, Joey. Uh, <laughs> Joey, what's the tongue used for? What sense? The tongue is, what is it used for? Yeah. To taste. Huh, wrong. And, uh, Franz, how often does it shed its skin, my fine, freaky friend? And, well... It sheds only once a month. 
<laughs> I don't have to ask anything after that. All right, got all the information you need there, Harlan? Yeah. All right, good for you. Another biology yeah. class from Harlan. All right, time to decide who is lying like a dog. Grab your boards, write down the real owner. While you do that, I'll give you a couple of other facts you should know about Moscow. Moscow only eats every three weeks. He eats live rodents. Had his last one a week and a half ago. That's, uh, that's quite a diet. And uh, he, he eats them live, and he can catch them in midair. So if you guys stay on the other side of the stage. All right, Dom, who's lying like a dog? Who's the real owner? Uh, I think Franz looks too much like a guy who would want to own a snake but couldn't afford one. <laughs> Joey, Joey, I'm just not buying your story. Rhonda is the type of girl that I'd like to take to dinner. <laughs> I'm going to go with Rhonda. Go with Rhonda. <laughs> That's your reasoning? You'd like to take her to dinner? I'm laughing at myself, too. How sad is that? Yes, I would. Okay. Rhonda, what are you doing? Will you and your snake later? You want to go? <laughs> I'm trying to get a follow-up question, and just you hold on. Mr. Right, John, who's lying like a dog? Well, first of all, I don't even think that Franz, is, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the hell you come up with Franz. <laughs> and uh, Rhonda, we just didn't ask you enough questions, so I'm in the dark on you, babe. <laughs> so uh, I go with Joey. You're going with Joey. He's the real owner. Mm. Harlan, you looked like you knew when you finished your questions. It looked like there was no doubt. What, uh, who's lying like a dog? I don't know. I, I don't think it's Franz, because uh, no one in their right mind with a Z in their name would own a snake. <laughs> and uh, Rhonda, it could have been you. Maybe it is, but I think it's double J-O-E-Y. Joey. I think it's Joey. All right, let's find out how the panel did and who really owns Moscow. Will uh, Moscow's real owner please pick him up? Oh. It is Rhonda. Oh, Harlan said, I'll help you with a tail there. Yeah. She looks good in a boa, doesn't she? Now do you want to take her out to dinner, Dom? Yeah, maybe just for a drive through <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, Let's give some points, shall we? Uh, Ten points for Dom, but nothing for anybody else. So that was pretty good logic on your part, Dom. Well Thank done. You. Just I pick whoever it. you want to take out on a date. That's right. And it definitely isn't Franz. Not for nothing. <laughs> John and Harlan, nothing. You got to get on the board next round, all right? Wait a minute. Is that really your name, Franz? Of course. Okay. All right. No offense. <laughs> Thank you very much, Franz and Joe. You guys were very good liars. And a very big thanks to Moscow, who will receive a month's supply of quality pet food. I don't even want to imagine what's going to be in that bag from Quality Pet Shop in Van Nuys. We'll be back with more You Lie Like a Dog right after this. I swear it's the truth. You Lie Like a Dog will be back after these messages. Hmm. Same old network programs putting you to sleep. Oh. Well, wake up with Animal Planet Safari and whoop it up at a swinging soiree with some real party animals. Up next, right here on Animal Planet. Go wild. As a parent or teacher, you're always looking for new ways to inspire. Now, Lightspan helps you capture their imagination, challenge their minds, and discover new ideas. We're using the internet to help kids learn. Introducing Lightspan.com, the free educational website for parents, teachers, and kids. Visit us at Lightspan.com. So, you've managed to point and click your way into too much debt. Why not point and click your way out of debt with a second mortgage from Ditech.com? Whether you have equity or no equity, good credit or not so good credit, Ditech has a second mortgage with absolutely no closing costs to help you lower your monthly payments now. So point and click your way out of high interest, non-tax deductible credit card debt at Ditech.com. Or call us at 1-800-71-FIXED. Ditech.com. Send your phone company a message. Join us at phonefree.com and calling long distance will be totally free. And you know something? So will you. Phonefree.com. 
Let freedom ring. For the first time ever on home video, Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber's Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Now you can bring the magic of Joseph into your home by calling right now. The dawn was breaking. This is the musical the entire family can watch again and again with performances by Joan Collins, Richard Attenborough, and starring Donny Osmond. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat is a must-have part of every family's home video collection. Call now and you can have this full-length video delivered directly to your door for the amazing low price of just $19.98 plus shipping and handling. Get your credit card ready and call the toll-free number on your screen to order your copy of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat starring Donny Osmond. Bring the magic of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat into your home today. Rush delivery available. Call now to place your order. And now, back to you lie like a dog. Welcome back to you lie like a dog. We are going into round two. Pet pro or no, figure out who lies like a dog in this round, and it is worth 25 points. Let's meet our two pet professionals, Anne-Marie and Evan. Now, both Anne-Marie and Evan claim to be professional dog groomers, people who bathe and groom dogs. However, only one of them is really a pro, and the other one is just lying like a dog. It's going to be up to our panel to figure out who's telling it like it is and who's not. Dom? Yes. <laughs> We're going to start with you. The dog was running off. Pet professionals? I'm yes. sorry, what did they do? <laughs> do they're, they're claiming to be dog, dog groomers. They dog both groomers. claim to groom and care okay. for dogs. And Marie and Evan, one of them's lying, Dom, right. but I can't tell you which. I'm sorry. Okay. Right. 30 seconds to ask questions. Evan, apparently you've been tired of too many dirty dogs. Is that why you get in this business? Yes. Where did you start out in dogs? I started out in, in Massachusetts. I was uh, basically just a cleaner upper guy. Clean up for dogs? What's that? For dogs? For dogs. Anne Marie, dogs. And, and what made you start as a dog uh, groomer? I opened up a doggy daycare, Hans Lounge, and I decided to be a groomer. I have a grooming salon in there as well. You what? I have a grooming salon in there as well. well you seem to be very shy about this. Are you embarrassed that you groom dogs? No. It's Your body wonderful. language indicates. <laughs> All right. No, it's just a. <laughs> All right, John. 30 seconds for you to ask questions. You ready? Yes. Go. Anne Marie, what do you do if you cut the dog's toenail too short? How do you treat it? You put septic powder on it to stop the bleeding. Okay, and Evan, what is your procedure for uh, grooming a dog? What, what is the basic steps? Well, first you want to brush it out, and then you want to, I always want to brush it dry. It depends if it needs to be matted, if it's all got lice or anything going on. Then you want to get it wet. Then you want to make sure it's very dry so no bacteria will grow, get infections. Dry, wet, then dry again. <laughs> okay, I think I've had enough. I think you've had enough. All right, Harlan, 30 seconds for you. Questions? All righty. Hey, Evan, what's heartworm? Heartworm is a blood disease. And, uh, Anne Marie, what's the biggest dog in the world? Irish Wolfhound. And, Evan, what's the smallest dog in the world? It's a Chihuahua. And, Anne Marie, have you ever, uh, <laughs> eaten a seven slice pizza sideways? <laughs> I, yesterday. I don't even know I asked that. God bless me. Uh, Evan, uh, what, did you see? Yeah. You yeah, pulled the seven slice pizza question. Yeah, I, I, I right. got mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> so, no. Don't apologize to me, okay. please. All right, our pros have brought along a, a tool of the dog grooming trade, and they're going to uh, they're going to tell us what it is. Maybe that'll help you learn a little bit more about them. And Marie, what uh, what is that, and what is that used for? This is a dryer attachment to make the dryer more powerful. All right. And uh, Evan, what do you say that's actually used Actually, for? this is an attachment nozzle for dispensing uh, shampoo. Sometimes there are toxic chemicals, and it attaches to a dispenser where you mix water to a proper ratio with toxic chemicals. Uh, toxic chemicals. All right. Uh, we also have a piece of dog groomer lingo. When we say tip them, tip them in dog uh, grooming lingo, what does that mean, Anne-Marie? That you tip the dog's nails so as not to cut the quick. Ah, per John's question. And Evan, what, uh, what do you say that means? Actually, when we say tip him, if a dog was well behaved and stayed in his little harness, we give him a treat. We say tip him, and depending on his diet, we give him a little treat. Okay, panelists, <laughs> one follow-up 
question. <laughs> hey, get yourself a little something. <laughs> okay. Here, here, take it. Can you get us a table by the window? <laughs> okay. Tom, you get one follow-up question. You okay. can ask either one of our pros. Anne Marie, has a dog ever been so funky that you wouldn't touch him for fear of some fungus or bacteria? Yes. How do you turn the dog? No, down? no, one question, Don. You always try to sneak in that second question. All right, John, one question to either one of our pros. Uh, Evan, uh, do you have a dog yourself? Yes. That's all I needed. All right. Now, you know, Harlan. <laughs> John's grabbing his board. He's ready to write. Harlan, uh, one question. Evan, have you ever taken your blow dryer and blowed a chihuahua down the road? I actually, uh, yes, while I was eating a seven slice pizza sideways. That's my boy. All right. Time to make your decisions to see who is lying like a dog. And wherever has Leo gone? There's Leo. Leo, come here and see me. Oh, 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 I'm gonna trip over Leo. Got him, oh, I'm gonna bring him over to our groomers. And our groomers are gonna put a nice little bow right on Leo's head, our real pro. But before we do that, let's find out how our panelists did. Dom, you reached for the board with authority. Well, I don't know, you I think You feel like you really know Evan, who's... Well, I'm sorry. No, no, please, you, who's lying like a dog? Look me in the eye, Evan. <laughs> I think that you're a lion sack of <laughs> doggy duty. Now, uh, Anne-Marie, I believe that you are the dog groomer because you look like the kind of person that would dedicate your life to cleaning other people's dogs. <laughs> you're saying it's Anne-Marie. <laughs> All right. John, who's lying like a dog? I know for a fact that Evan had never had a dog, and that's what gave him away. Sorry, Evan. <laughs> Anne-Marie. You go with Anne-Marie. Harlan, what do you think? I don't know if this is legal or not, but I was reading John's mind, so I also know for a fact that he's never had a dog, thanks to John. Hello, Anne-Marie Presley. All right. It's unanimous. All right, let's find out how you did. Will our real pet groomer please place a bow on Louis's head? Ah. Yeah. Let's go to the scoreboard where we're going to get busy. 25 points for everybody. Dom, still in the lead with 35. Good job, gentlemen. Everybody knew. All right, a little bit later on, our dog groomer is going to give us some dog grooming tips right from the pro to you. But when we come back, it's animal charades. Don't go away. Quit your barking. You lie like a dog, we'll be right back. In a time long ago... The dog looks like he knows you. Yeah, this is Buck. When the world was untamed... You are my guy now. Two souls heeded a call of friendship. He's the only reason you've gone this far. And a call of the wild. Yes. This March, Animal Planet brings Jack London's timeless classic to life. I will give my life for that dog. See the two-hour series premiere for Call of the Wild this Friday at 8 Eastern on Animal Planet. I need you to find these people now. Okay, boys, release the hounds. Someone's been here. Searching for someone at your car insurance company after dark? At GEICO Direct, we're here 24 hours a day. In fact, one 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. If I could fall asleep right now, I could still get six good hours. If you suffer from sleeplessness, even occasionally... I could still get four hours. Four hours is okay. There are a few things you should know. Going without sleep isn't okay. And there is something that can help, called Sleep Solutions from Searle. Call this toll-free number now for a free information kit to learn how Sleep Solutions from Searle can help you and your doctor do something about your sleeplessness. Learn about an innovative approach to sleep therapy that's available only at your doctor and how Sleep Solutions from Searle is actually helping people just like you reestablish good sleep habits. Your kit even includes an easy-to-use sleep diary to help you and your doctor spot patterns in your sleeplessness. So, instead of watching the clock night after night, call today for your free information kit. Then, talk to your doctor about Sleep Solutions from Searle. 
and don't let another sleepless night go by. Well, we're here in front of Virginia Beach's famed cement beach balls with... Frank and Sally from Harrisburg. So, Frank, how long have you been down here? About a week. Oh, so you've pretty much seen everything there is to see? Heck no, we haven't seen the new golf course, and we still have the museum. Oh, or Williamsburg, we can't wait till next year. Next year? Come on, what do you think we do in the off-season? Roll up the boardwalk, put the sand in a warehouse or something? You can come down here anytime. <laughs> well, you're looking at it like that. Yeah, and if you lift one of those beach balls back there, you could be mayor of Virginia Beach. Go ahead, go ahead, try for it. Okay, really. I'm kidding. Frank, it's cement. Come back. Well, I'm here in the Virginia Beach oceanfront, soaking up some rays with Becky here. Are you having a good time, Becky? Oh, yeah, it's a great beach. Now, what if I were to show you a whole bunch of great things you could do besides sitting on the beach? Would you maybe want to come back a little sooner than next summer? Sure. Not great. Well, if you call this number right here on the screen. Where? Right Excuse me? What number? What, what? what if I were to tell you that simply by calling this number on the screen... What, what you, screen? Where? You see it, don't you? Call the number on the screen, they'll shoot one right out to you. It's kind of this one? All right, I'll call the number. And now, back to you lie like a dog. Welcome back to you lie like a dog. We are going into round three, but first, let's recap the scores, shall we? Dom, 35 points. Very nice. Love you, too. I love you, John, too. 25 points. Not too shabby. <laughs> Harlan, 25 points. Yes, sir, Bobby Bob. Now, Harlan, you only got those 25 points because you read John's mind. Yeah, that's right. Now, what is he thinking right now? He's thinking about uh, being on a beach wrestling around with a manatee. <laughs> Holy cow! How does he feel that? It's uncanny. <laughs> I'm staying away from him, though. It makes me frightened that you have to sit next to him now that you yeah. imagine He his loves thoughts. manatees. <laughs> okay. All right, it's out. <laughs> it's out in the open. All right, well, you guys, this round is worth 50 points. Everybody can make their big comeback here. Each one of our panelists has been randomly paired up with one of our liars to play animal charades. It's going to be up to our liar to say the name, title, or phrase that our panelists picked at random just before the round. All of today's answers pertain to to felines. They are phrases that pertain to felines. Got it? Got it? <laughs> Good. Harlan, we'll start with you. Nice. Yes, we will. Come on down. Who's up with Harlan? <laughs> All right, then. Franz, $200 if you get this right in 30 seconds. 50 points for you. You ready yeah. to do this? Yeah. All right. Phrases that pertain to felines. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Four words. Cat. Cat. Fat cat. Big cat. Big cat lion. Da tire. Tire. Tire nozzle. Tiger fuel. Tiger nozzle. Tiger. Tiger pump. Tiger. Tiger. Tiger Woods, no, Tiger Rider. Oh, no, came right down to the end. Why don't you tell them what it was? Tiger in your tank, buddy. Oh. Tiger in your tank. I'm afraid not. Please, please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, John. Come on. You ready? Get down here. Okay. Who's up with John? <laughs> Joey. Good luck. All right, John, here you go. Remember, it's $200 to you if you get it right in 30 seconds. 50 points for you. You can put the pressure on Dom. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Phrases that pertain to felines. Ready? <laughs> Go. Five words. Okay. First word. Door. <laughs> Outside. Mat. Door mat. <laughs> Try something else. All right. Third word. Baby. Rock. Cradle. Uh, rock. Um. Dang. No, didn't get there. What? Uh, tell me what it was. Room. This was room. This was swing. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the full, what was the full phrase? Room tell to him. swing a cat. Room to swing a cat. Oh. The full phrase. <laughs> All right. Have a seat, gentlemen. Come up with me. All right, Dom, it's all you. 
He's a bitter man. <laughs> Tom and Evan. Get down. Uh, you got it. Get down with your bad self, That's Evan. That's right. You're the man. Right. You know who you is. That's right. All right, just take a step oh, back. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think Evan wants you that close to him after all that. Uh, all right, Evan, $200 if you get it right, 30 seconds. Dom, you can just shame these guys. You can shame them. 30 seconds. Phrases that pertain to felines. You ready? Go. The phrase. Five words. Five words. Fifth word. Tongue. Cat got your tongue. Cat's got your tongue. Hundred dollars to you. you. Congratulations, Thank and you. Dom at a world record pace. Cat's got your tongue. Let's go up Did to the scoreboard. This one's easy. Fifty <laughs> points for Dom. Eighty-five. <laughs> Dom, it makes you, of course, our big winner today. Congratulations. What uh, animal charity were you playing for? The Diane Fossey Fund, giving back to the gorillas that have spawned me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Diane Fossey Fund, $500 richer. Thanks for your work. Good job. Thank you. Liars, thank you very much. You did very, very good work. All right, don't move, because we're going to find out how well our panel can lather, rinse, and repeat. Don't go away. Wag that tail. You lie like a dog. We'll be back after this break on Animal Planet. When I need you. Now get Touched by Love, a new 36-song collection of the most popular soft rock hits. I love you. Magic of love in every song. is not sold in stores, so order now. Call toll-free now for Touched by Love. Two cassettes, $19.98. Two CDs, $26.98. Plus $4.95 shipping. Call now. They're all teeth, jaws, and bad reputation. At least until you get to know them. Animal Planet puts you in striking distance with our new series, Extreme Contact. Animal experts Manny, Megan, and Mark do the unthinkable, unbelievable, and downright unimaginable with the most feared creatures on the planet. Extreme Contact, the closest you can be without getting bit. Premieres Thursday at 9.30, only on Animal Planet. Don't try this at home. Set your flipper to Animal Planet Safari and whoop it up at a swinging soiree with some real party animals. Coming up next, right here on Animal Planet. Go wild. All right, panel, let's go on to the dog washing station where our Professional dog groomer, Anne Marie, has a big, big puppy here. All right. Big puppy. Okay. Now, now, show us what, what is the best way to get our dog washed. Well, let's see. We'll start getting him wet. Dom, you need some help? You can pour some can water. Pour some water. Pour some water on. Yeah, lots of water. Don't blame you, dog. Lots of water. Good boy. Get really wet. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Oh, good boy. Okay. Good boy. Enjoying? Uh, you want to pour further. some soap on him? It's a girl or a boy? John, boy. soap him up there. Soap him up and I'll soap pour him water. Ah, uh, here we go. Good boy. I think you gotta, you gotta right. put a lot of in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who would never do this to you if I wasn't on television? Tom, you want to get him? Oh. Start soaping Wash a little bit of Harlan's arm. It's a little dirty. Oh. 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 All right. <laughs> it's nice and warm, isn't it? What kind of, this is the most beautiful hey. dog. What kind of dog is this? Brad. Brad Perrineus. Yeah. I pay money to get this done, bro. <laughs> Big money. <laughs> now, is there any kind of, uh, any special soap, anything okay. we need to know when we're washing our dog? Anything we should be careful of? Yeah, well, just you have to really get in there. He has thick, double coat, hair. He's a mountain dog. Yeah, I'm sure this dog spends a lot of time at the mount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep on washing our, our big puppy uh, Nick here, and we'll say goodbye to you. We'll see you next time on You Lie Like a Dog. <laughs> bye bye. All right, uh, uh, Dom, what are you doing? Dom, you're, you're slacking uh, on the job. I